welcome back to our channel. In this video we're going to be trying out this paw print ornament kit that I got last year for Christmas. Um, but I figured why go ahead and make it and then worry about damaging the ornament while packing it away and everything. So I figured we'll just make it this year. So we're going to get her paw print casted or whatever on an ornament. And it says there's no mixing, no baking, no mess. So hopefully it'll stand up to those words and it'll be lots of fun. Oh, you look so excited. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Now we're interested because it sounds like I'm opening up a treat or a toy or something, huh? Is that why? Is that why you're suddenly interested? Oh, I didn't mean to make you upset. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here's what comes in the package. Drying impression material, all right. Oh, and then we have the ribbon to help make it an ornament. And then a little mold, so that way we get our nice round shape. And hopefully, the actual instruction. Alright, so it says to start, we're going to place aluminum foil on a flat object such as a book. The aluminum foil doesn't come in the kit, so that's something you're going to have to provide on your own. And the book that I chose is, fittingly enough, the night before Christmas, because it's Christmas time! Yay! Okay, so we've got the foil lined on the book, that's going to be our rolling surface. And then next we're supposed to knead the impression material for about two to three minutes. And next we're going to place our impression material on the foil covered surface and we're going to try and flatten it into a rectangular shape. And then roll the impression material smooth and flat. But you want to make sure it's thick enough that your dog's paw print will leave an impression on it. This is the rolling pin, by the way, <laughs> that came in the package. Okay, so I've got the impression material rolled out. It's not as much material as I was expecting there to be. Um, you want to make sure you roll it out enough for your circle shape to be able to fit around it completely and have my edges, and mine does. I just hope that it's not too thin. So the next step... Ah, the fun part. Wet your dog's paw and press the paw onto the impression material and remove. This should be easy! Wet your paw. Wet my Can you give me paw? Peace. Thank you. Yeah. Man, what are you doing? Gotta clean it too. Yeah. Okay. Draw impression. Call 
this project have failed. But as you saw before, um, her first paw impression came out alright, except it had some dirt on it still. I guess I didn't clean her paws off enough. So I thought, well, maybe if I wet her paw again and do an impression over it, maybe that the wetness of her paw will take the mud back up? Maybe? I don't know. That didn't work very well, um, as you can see here. And it got really, really stuck to her paw. And I had to kind of like, pretty much like pick at it and everything to get it all off her paw. It wasn't about, like I'm sure it's pet safe if your dog ends up licking it or even eating a little bit. Otherwise, who knows. No, let me check quickly. It says non-toxic on the bag of the impression material, but it doesn't necessarily say to dogs, but I would assume maybe that since it's a dog paw product that it should be non-toxic to dogs. I don't know. All the same, I was not about to let her pick at it and possibly eat it. Um, so I had to like, you know, take the sponge to her paws and kind of like try and pick it, pick it off. And I managed to get her she did so good and got so many yummy treats out of it. And here's some more. Wait, I'm sorry, I put you through all this silliness. And so then we got this lovely mess. It says, if you make a mistake, go back to step two, which is knead the impression material. But that's just going to take much more work than I have time to do right now. And then, plus, the rest of the steps continue. Use circle to trim edges of the impression. Make a hole in the impression with the plastic hole punch, so that way you can feed the ribbon through. And leave completed print in shaping tool on the foil or wax paper to dry for eight to ten hours. Then carefully flip impression over to allow the bottom side to dry. Total drying time may take two to three days. I, I thought this was supposed to be more of a quick project, not a lengthy one. And then the string of ribbon when done. My thoughts on how this could be better, because I don't think that it's necessarily that, oh, this won't work ever at all. Like, don't you? It's not so much of a don't buy this product. I think what would help them, though is if they made the directions clear. I read you the directions from the insert, and the instructions on the impression material bag read, do not open foil bag until ready for use. Well, the other instructions, the more detailed ones, don't exactly say specifically when to open it. I just assume from their little picture that you're supposed to open it because she's holding it in more of a circle and not in the bag. And then, knead the impression material for approximately one minute. Well, these instructions say two to three minutes, so again, a little bit unclear. It should be a clean, smooth consistency. Place impression material on a piece of aluminum foil when rolling out, and yet, like ten steps later, it says leave the impression material, leave the completed print in shaping tool on the foil or wax paper. When at what point was I allowed to use wax paper? And roll the impression material to approximately third of an inch thick. Well, that would have been helpful to know in the main instructions that I was using off of, like how thick do you want this to be. And personally, I don't think they gave you enough material to make it a third of an inch thick for the size circle that they gave you. I mean, yes, I could have gone and grabbed my own cookie cutter that was a little bit smaller, but then her paw print might not have fit. Wet hand or foot before pressing into impression material. Allow the finished paint print to dry, air dry in a cool, dry area for approximately 48 hours. Do not heat or bake. So it's just there. Many sets of directions are a little inconsistent as far as what you're supposed to do, what you shouldn't do. Um, if they could kind of make it more cohesive and definitely more detailed, that would be helpful. Um, I'm sure there have been plenty of people that have used this and it turned out fine. Uh, for us, sadly, it did not. Oh well, I got you sitting under the Christmas tree and that is like my favorite thing ever. Alrighty guys, well that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Bye! It says if you make a mistake, go back to step two, which is kneading the impression material. But I'm tired. I've had a long day. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. I did.